Welcome back to the channel folks. Got a great video today on how to calibrate your pH probe using Apex Fusion. Now this is something you're going to probably want to do every three months. I would do it every three months. If you don't notice a lot of drift each time you do it, then you could probably spread that interval out. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is get your calibration low range and high range solution and throw them in your sump. You got to get that temperature up a little bit if they're really cold or maybe they're really warm, I don't know. But you want to get it in your 77, 78 degrees to get a good accurate reading. Step two is while you're waiting for your calibration solutions to get up to temperature to match your tank, you're going to want to fill a small cup of RODI water that you can use to dip the probe in between taking measurements during calibration. So next step, if you have a new pH probe, you're going to need to hook it up clearly, right? So you're going to hook that up to your base unit of your apex system. Um, sometimes people call it the, the brain, but make sure you get a nice, good, secure, and tight fitting between that apex brain and that probe. Now you're going to open up Apex Fusion on your phone or if you have a device on your system. Go look at your pH, click the little gear for settings, and you're going to scroll down and hit the advanced tab. From there you're going to go down a little bit further and click manual calibration. If your pH probe has been in storage or it's a new probe, don't forget to remove the rubberized end cap. You want to make sure that's removed. That's there to protect the probe, but now you're ready to take it off. Let's return to Apex Fusion. You're going to make sure you've selected 7 and 10 as your low and high range solutions for calibration. That's for salt water, so make sure that's selected and then click Next. Now you are ready to calibrate. Pull that low range solution out of your sump or wherever it was to temperature match. Tear the top half off and get ready to insert the probe into the solution. When you insert your pH probe down to the solution, make sure it's fully submerged, so all the way down to the bottom so you can get a good stable reading. Now that you have the probe, the pH probe in the solution, you're ready to calibrate, so you go ahead and hit that button, calibrate with an Apex Fusion, and you're going to watch the value. You're going to see it move up and down a little bit at times. You're going to wait for it to stabilize, and you're going to wait for that confidence bar to go up to near 100%. So take your time with this. Sometimes it takes a little bit of extra time and they recommend from what I've read in my experience, do a little gentle wiggle, a little dance with the probe if you will, to make sure that reading is quite stable. And that should help you out and speed things up a little bit. But again, wait till that confidence is near 100% before hitting next. So here we are in real time doing the pH probe dance just a little bit longer. We're going back to Apex Fusion, checking out the confidence. We're seeing it's going up. We're seeing the value is at 729, so it's stabilizing. It's near that area. So we're feeling pretty good at things at this point. And we're going to hit next. Next up is just to take that pH probe gently out, dip it in that little cup of RODI, Kind of clean it off, if you will, and get ready for your upper range calibration. So we're getting close to the end. We're going to repeat the process again. We're going to take the pH probe and put it in the calibration solution, the upper range solution of 10. Put it in there nice and gently. All the way down to get it fully submerged so we can get a good stable reading. We're going to return to Apex Fusion. We're ready to calibrate and hit Next, again we're going to see the value kind of jump up and down a little bit, take some time to stabilize, and once it starts stabilizing we're going to wait again for that confidence to go up to near 100% before we hit next. So we're going to do the little pH probe dance again here. Make sure we don't have any air bubbles down there, get a good stable reading. The values jumped up to 1025, so that's good. We're seeing the confidence now jump up a little bit. Fusion likes that that reading is, is changing, but now also stabilizing. 
Okay, we're at near 100%. We're calibrated on the high range now. And we're going to go ahead and hit next. Calibration complete. Excellent. You're going to return to where you were, and then we're going to go back to our dashboard view. There we see our pH has jumped up to 10. We're going to slowly remove the probe from the solution, go back to our RODI water, that little cup there, do a little rinse, a little dip if you will, and then take it straight back to the sump and get it in our probe holder. Now be careful, sometimes I've seen people over tighten their probes with those little plastic nuts and it actually cracked or damaged their probes, so word of caution there. Well, great job, folks. Your pH probe is now calibrated. That took roughly, you know, five minutes. Not a lot of effort. Do it every three months. Monitor the drift to see if you need to do it less or more. And good luck reefing. Peace.